next on the list here, we have Toast. What do you have for us? I don't know. <laughs> just just some stuff. <laughs> yeah, what what new what new iPhone are you unveiling, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Dark, Dark, did you see the the link I gave you? What's up with that? Um, I mean, I saw the picture you sent me. I didn't get a chance to watch the video Gee, yet because that'll have. play well, on stream. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, well, what's if it's up? through Discord, it plays. So, well, y you know, uh, who who covered uh who covered Pluto Tante? Was that you? That was you, right? Oh, uh yeah, that was me. Why is Shotaro called Hidari Shotaro and Philip is just Philip? Um, Why isn't he named after his family? I think well because that was a big hint that he's not like you know actually Philip. Why Why isn't he named Migi Philip? But his name is. <laughs> Oh wait, no. It's, oh yeah, but oh, remember his real name though. Get it? I don't remember his real name. I'm gonna be honest. You don't you. remember his real name? Oh my! No, God. I don't remember. His real name is Raito Sonozaki. Get it? Oh, okay. Wow. Or get it right because you know Hidari is left, and yeah. Raito is right. Get it? God damn it! Get it? I get it. Well, why am I talking about this? It's like poetry, right? Because they're, <laughs> they're the two in one common rider, just like how Iggy and Dolly are two in one orphan. Orphans yeah. that were adopted, yes. <laughs> or no, orphan, Spire. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah they are one. Or, or they are one orphan, Spire. Yeah, uh, one. sorry, one orphan. <laughs> yeah, two for the price of one. Yeah, man. So, so the thing, so this is like the, the literal first five seconds of the anime, so it's not a spoiler, but someone died. Yeah. Okay. F then flash forward to the year 1989, and some <laughs> old, old couple are uh, at a orphanage, and they're like, oh, we're going to adopt an orphan. And then they're looking at the orphans and then i guess it's migi sure i don't know i apparently you can differentiate the two between by their by their by the way their hair parts yeah i i don't know who's who i stopped looking i don't know migi migi is the one where the hair parts to the left are you sure and or I guess the hair parts all on the. On how do you, the how do you know, Spire? Sneaky. And then the dolly is the one that uh, hair parts on the left side. Sorry. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I can't tell. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. One of that. One of them does some elaborate plan. There's like, oh. The 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 couple are like, oh. We'll we'll think of who to adopt tomorrow, and then their hat flies away. And oh, they see one of them. They're like, oh, what a handsome boy. And then uh, they're like, oh, and then suddenly it starts raining. They're like, oh, a sudden autumn shower. And then it cuts to another one of them. I don't know who is holding an umbrella over a dog. And like, wow, this kid, kid has a good heart. We'll adopt him. And thus they adopted. Uh -huh. They adopted the orphan Hitori. Get it? Get it? Yes. They, they adopted <laughs> one orphan boy by the name of Hitori. Okay. But lo and behold, it's actually two orphans. Because when 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 they adopted the kid and sent them their stuff, they they the the other the other twin snuck in in a box. So yes, it's not that there's that there's no hallucin there's no hallucinogenics here. There's actually two of them, okay. but they're living the life of one orphan named so Vittori. Oh, so the other guy. So that so the, is the idea guy. is the idea that like 
the one sort of sneaks in and they have to sort of work together to like keep the fact that there's yeah, the two secret. of them there a secret or what? Yes. what? Okay. Remember that know. one Simpsons episode where uh, Bart had a what is it, an attic twin that yeah. they fed him fish heads? Kind of like that. Uh huh. Except instead of feeding them fish heads at every meal, I don't know who's twin, but one of them is like underneath the table eating scraps from the feet of the other one. Uh -huh. So it's weird. I, I sent the picture. Dude, this is literally just spoiler alert. Her story, okay? They copied her story. <laughs> the hit video game. But it's okay because uh, they do this, but uh, at meal times. But no, no, it's not like they're abusing them or anything. It's just they have to play the part as one person, but you know the other person has to eat. So when the other when the other person sneaks from like snakes underneath the table they do this weird i don't know what do you call it an ouroboros technique what it's, it's yeah some you're weird gonna have thing. to clarify what you mean by that because it's this weird thing Here, here's a here's what? a picture what the they do this weird thing where they do this i don't know it's in the anime that rocks yeah what the they're fuck? like they like some some weird ouroboros technique to uh slip to in uh, to, to swap places yeah, and it's, it's like a Jinji Ito kind of like horror. Kind of yeah, scene. really. <laughs> and it's like, okay, so now there's enough for two, and it's like that's cool. But yeah, is this supposed to be like a darker like thriller series, or is this what is this supposed to be? This is this is a darker thriller, right? Oh, I mean, it opens up with a murder, so yeah, here. If okay, you okay. fast forward, if you fast forward this and you can see the weird or boring thing. It's freaky. I don't I, I don't like it. I think it's here. supposed to be like a um like a dark comedy like thriller thing. Kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, watch that or boring technique. I hate it. I hate it so much. But yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's that, they, that that's awesome. It, it is pretty cool, but I hate it. Yeah, that's how they eat it. They so yeah. So there's one, there's Migi. I guess he's the more soft spoken twin. I guess. And then there's Dolly, he's the more cool twin. But when they act in front of the couple, they act as the same as this, like, you know, as Hitori, this childlike 13-year-old, because trying to act like the perfect orphan, because yeah, they're 13 uh -huh. and whatnot. So, yeah, it's... If you've seen this these author's previous works, and by that I mean Sakamoto, it's as if there are two Sakamotos yeah. in mm -hmm. one. And uh, the whole thing about Sakamoto is that that guy's a complete weirdo, but he does, but he he acts like a cool guy when he, whenever he does the weird thing. So I guess mm. that's this charm. You, you, that's definitely the brand of humor this show has. It's like, oh, here's Migi Hidari. They're crawling around on the floor like some sort of possessed demon, but they look cool when they do it. Mm -hmm. And like, it's like, oh, that's the shock humor, I guess. But yeah, yeah. At least, at least how the main characters act, it seems very similar to the brand of comedy that is, um, sort of was represented by Sakamoto and in general by Sanonami. Yeah, pretty much. Late, but... um, Sanonami. Um. So. Yeah. Can, can so... I ask you just real quick? What is the? I mean, obviously, it's only one or two episodes in, but. What do you think is going to be the balance between that sort of dark comedy and the sort of introspection or looking into Miki and Dolly? And well, in these two the episodes, family. we've already got a we've already got the basics of the plot like laid out already. Yeah, because so, I was wondering how much of it's going to be that versus how much of it's going to be the murder mystery. You know what I mean? So. The whole thing is that 
they're the sons of the chick who died in like the very like the first f- minute of the first episode and uh-huh. so they've been they hatched a plan to uh be adopted by someone from this specific village that they that their mom died at Oregon village so they're trying to unveil the murder mystery of what happened to their mom i mm-hmm. guess and that's the whole point of why they got adopted by this or they were planning to be adopted by this couple so they're they're acting like they're some sort of strategic mastermind to all this but in a i guess an inversion of that is that because they're 13 and, and whatnot, they're naive little kids, so it turns out to be something akin to a Dennis the Menace situation. It's weird because they're, you know, they're they're supposed to be scheme, scheming, conniving little brats, or be like, oh, we gotta find out the the mysteries of this couple and see if they're connected to. The village where our mom died and whatnot. And then they see that they have a misunderstanding of like like, oh, this couple, they're go they're going out, but they would invite us, so they must be plotting something. And then they come home with a mysterious object and they think like, Oh, this spinning thing is gonna be s- they have a bunch of wigs in their closet and they brought home this spinning turbine thing. They're gonna cut our hair. So it turned they're gonna oh, yeah. have so then there's this whole plot of oh we're gonna make them pay. We're gonna we're gonna burn them alive before they get us. So they mm-hmm. hatched this whole plan of like they snuck some wine they snuck some hot sauce into her wine for their um I guess what is it? Their adoption party? So that so the mom drinks the wine is like oh, why is this wine super spicy? And he gives her a glass of water, but it's not water, it's gin. So she keeps drinking <laughs> gin, and then because the the dude these people are like six years old, so they got and then like the the old man has a toupee, so they douse the toupee in olive oil. Then they hatch a plan at like three p.m. when. When they give the presents, that it's the perfect time for the sun to appear. So they, so they're gonna use a magnifying glass to light them on fire. <laughs> so for some reason, what the fuck? It's weird. This is like the weirdest version of Home Alone that I've ever yeah, heard that, of. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like Home Alone, Dennis the Menace, some weirdly yeah. elaborate pranks and stuff. But, but I mean, how do you set someone on fire when they've just been <laughs> drinking gin? I get the olive oil thing. <laughs> it's it's kind of like that um uh X Men um Days of uh Future Past or whatever it was, where it's like uh well, it was Future Past, right? Where they had uh, Magneto breaking out of the um of the prison and it's like he got out of the prison because the jail guard ate too much meat and had too much iron in his body or whatever it was. It's like that. <laughs> but yeah, and so uh when when the their plan fails, it turns out that they just bought him a bike, okay. and it's like, oh, that's the spinny thing that cuts the hair. No, no, it's a it was a bike wheel that they were hidden in the shed. That's... By the way, there's there's nothing like supernatural going on in this series at all, right? It's just all these very elaborate. I don't know, man. There, there may be because these twins Maybe? are creepy. They're creepy. They're creepy, but are there any supernatural things? So far, so far, no. Okay. But they're like they're too intimate. You know what I mean? That's that has to be a supernatural. You can't possibly they're have very intimate, intimate twins. <laughs> they're constantly, they're constantly touching each other and like mimicking each other. It's weird, man. I don't like. <laughs> I don't know, but so far, no, no uh, visual proof that they're okay. supernatural as of yet. I think I think that's for the better. I think that's much more. Yeah, interesting it's, it's much more fun. Of... It's better. Better. But I mean, look, look at the, look at this. Look at the the way they ride their bicycle. What a bunch of creeps! I don't. I wouldn't trust them. <laughs> look at that. 
What the? F what on earth is happening? <laughs> what? I, how do you even sit like that on a bicycle? <laughs> yeah. Are they sharing one jacket? Yes. No. Oh no no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, no. Oh yeah. I should mention that. Uh, it was a funny joke in the ser in the series. They mentioned like, oh, what kind of clothes do you want to wear? Do you want to wear fancy clothes? I'm like, no. I, I want my <laughs> I want my turtleneck and pants. In the year oh, and this is the year 1990. So the mom was like, why are you dressed like a? Why are you dressed like? Bill Bill Gates. It's literally the Bill no, Gates. Steve logo. Jobs. Yeah. Steve yeah. Jobs. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I was like, that's uh, what I thought of too. So yeah. apparently Steve Jobs <laughs> was wearing this in the 1990s. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty much what he always wore. Yeah, he will work for the branding. Sure. But, but um, yeah. Uh, so that's about it for those two episodes. Okay. How how what do you think of the audio visuals? Fine. They they always have this creepy music when they're both together and doing weird hand stuff, and it and, plays and every creepy day. creepy music as in like something that would fit a dark comedy or like something legitimately trying to incite some weird like horror kind of thing. I mean, you you heard it when they were doing that Ouroboros thing. That's the music that plays every time they're what both the on screen. Heck? Yeah, oh every time. I don't know what it is, man. It's creepy, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, it's it's half Sakamoto. It's like, oh, here's some funny haha, -ha, but it's also half murder mystery. But like yeah. when they get serious, it's they're just doing like super childish pranks, mm -hmm. like Dennis the Menace style pranks that blow up in their face in a good way. Like, oh, we misunderstood this, so. I'm I'm guessing the plot is that these are a prank of the week in a way, where they're trying to prank the couple and learn more about their stuff, and they're trying to be like diabolically evil, but it it backfires on them mm -hmm. in a good way. I don't know. It's 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 kind of hard to explain. Like everyone in this series is weird in some way. Again, uh, part of the sort of Sadonami brand, right? Um, yeah. But it, it, at least it's good in... It's good humor. I, I like or, this yeah, humor. It, it's good and weird humor in like a way that, again, I guess is good instead of just being weird and a bad, like, oh, this character is like, developing enough and they're just doing what they're doing. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh... If... I mean, yeah, if you like Sakamoto, this is definitely that style of humor. But now there's mm -hmm. two of them. That's yeah. pretty much how I can boil down this series. This was yeah. his last work. It was um, Her yeah, last Sakamoto work. Sakamoto and now his um, uh, Megan Dolly are, as you said, are both good series. So it's, it's unfortunate that uh, the original you creator... You mean her, her, Spire? How dare you? Sorry, uh, her. <laughs> she did pass it. Yeah, uh, this this is the yeah this is the last series that the author did. It's mm -hmm. completely finished. Yeah, it, it ended uh twenty twenty one. So if this manga if this anime ends before the manga or gets to the end of the manga, well, check out the manga because it is done. Yes. Do you think the anime will finish in time? This is twelve I episodes, right? Don't. 13, 13. I think so. Okay. Maybe. I hope it does. Do you think it's probably going to get a season two to wrap it up, maybe? Because, it, it, like, it's the issue is, like, with stuff like murder mysteries or with stuff like this, it's a little bit harder to just have the characters run into the sunset and just, like, not have a second season. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't think this, this will be. Okay. Uh, Sakamoto was not Didn't finished, have right? Seasons? No, I one was just once. Well, it was just 12, 13, I guess. Oh, no, Sakamoto did finish, did it not? Yeah. Yeah, Sakamoto did. So, it might be, yeah. This might finish. I can see how. I hope it does. But yeah, oh, yeah. everyone in this series is weird. The the old couple are weird. Their Their relatives are weird. They're hiding something. There's some weird <laughs> dealings going around, and 
going along in Oregon Village. Yeah. So uh, I'm interested to see how this pans out. The op right. the opening is some people who you mega doki. I don't know who these are, but the ending is Skyline and. If you're gonna watch either the opening or the ending, I'd suggest the ending because the ending shows some interesting uh, show. It shows them as boys when they had to live alone for a while because you know their mom died. So it's a lot more interesting to watch than the opening. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty good. I don't have any real complaints. So I, I like Sakamoto. I like this series. They're fr yeah, they're, both. I I like I like weird freaks. Whenever I get a chance at them, these guys are weird freaks. All right. Uh, I love. I sure right. like. Uh, what what other yeah. what other series has two brothers doing weird stuff? Phineas and Ferb. Does that count? Johnny Cass. Uchi Kyodai, right? Uchi Kyodai is the. I'm the sorry, player. I don't speak Japanese, Fire. I only watch American TV shows. Yeah, that, I apologize. Would you count Johnny Johnny Test, even though it's. It, <laughs> what the it, it, that it, test it, is it, one it was guy, dog. man. It was, but yeah. he, had, he had a talking dog, dog, dude. Yeah. Uh, quirk, quirky. What is this genre that I'm thinking of? Like a quirky like duo? Usually a brother and a, another brother. Drake and Josh, sure. Let's throw Drake and Josh in there. Maybe Drake and Josh. Into, uh, parent I don't trap. know. Sweet life is that going? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, there you go. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one. And their hair matches as well. Wow. It's true. Oh, yeah. Uh, sister, sister, sister. Right. It's sister, yeah. sister. Uh, Mary Kate and the Olsen twins. Sure. I like Buddy. What is this? What what is that genre called specifically? <laughs> I don't know how you what? find. Like brother and sister comedy duo. I think it's just a sitcom, bro. Sitcom? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, <laughs> that's a good one there. It's like a sit. This series is like a sitcom. Yeah, so definitely check it out. I I I recommend this. I'll give it a high seven point five out of ten because I I like these weird freaks. All right. Well, thank you very much, Toast, for having help yeah, helping to cover Migi Tutari, also known as Migi Dolly, done by Geek Geek Toys, uh, co-produced by Geek Toys Compton, Geek Toys, and, oh um, yeah, Geek Toys, a bunch of other stuff. As well, um, it's a manga original done by uh. Uh, uh, Saronami, uh, who also was the author slash illustrator behind Haven't You Heard on Sakamoto or Sakamoto Dika, which was also a pretty uh, great series, a pretty lauded series, and uh, obviously Toast is a lot in this one as well. So if you kind of do like the quirky um, nature of the characters that you saw in, in series like Sakamoto-san, and you want to this one out, it's a little bit of a darker tone, but it has its comedic moments as well. Please do check this out. 